Hello everyone, this is your boy Rock Lee from uh, We Are, both the Facebook group and the channel here on YouTube. Um, we also end up having an Instagram page, so if you're interested, um, be sure to follow that. Um, and the video that I'm uh, bringing to you guys today is going to be following the series of self-hypnosis, which I'm which I'm making, um, and the, the topic itself is going to be based off of using props um, to help your your mindset, to help um, uh, self-hypnotize your train of thought and the way you end up thinking and how you end up perceiving things. This one, I feel, is very, very important. It's a very, very useful tool to use on a day-to-day -day basis. And believe it or not, we end up using it more often than we think, but... What I'm speaking to is the potential, the using it to its to its maximum potential, using it to to everything that it can be. So, everybody who ends up knowing the base definition of a prop, all right, you've seen on many TV shows, they end up having uh, rubber swords or uh, guns and stuff like that, or uh, I don't know what other weird props they might have, uh, a dumbbell that's made out of rubber that makes a superhero seem like he can lift, you know, like this bodybuilder dude seem like he can lift like 500 pounds, but reality wise is that rubber thing only weighs like 10 pounds. Um, and it's all like, uh, kind of like an optical illusion. It's like you grab, you grab the prop. All right. And to you, it's real, but in reality, it doesn't serve the purpose that it really does. It just is a prop. Now, most of us will look at um we'll look at props and uh it's something to help like with the make-believe and we've done this before we've done this when uh i don't know like when you when you play sword when you use a, a whatchamacallit when you use like a, a one of those cardboard um paper towel rolls with your kid or even when you were a kid as like a sword and you're over here play fighting with like your brothers or your friends or whatnot we've done this a lot as children and even some adults nowadays continue on doing it in other aspects but for the sake of this video i'm going to say that sometimes it's good to dive back into that imagination that we end up having as kids because it's when you're using these props at their maximum potential and you really do live the life that you want to live. So what kind of props can I bring to the subject today or examples that could help people out? Well, let's start with, let's say, a prop of, of your food and what you end up eating. For example, um, when you drink water, Let's start this off. When you end up drinking water, okay, do you just see it as water or do you see it like life in a can? You know what I mean? Like, have you ever thought of the concept that is water? And I can delve into the scientifics of, of it. Realistically wise is we've, um, scientists have seen how water can alter based off of the intention, um, the attention, the gre the the gratitude, um, focused on it. You know what I mean? Um, water that is frozen at to a certain vibration or frequency freezes, um, can freeze either disrupted or it can freeze, you know, in a beautiful elegance type of way. Um. So, what what do you do when you end up drinking it? Like, is it? You know, like just like a casual drink. It's like, oh, it's just to quench my thirst. Or is it something more? Like, is it water from the fountain of youth? Like, does it does it fill you up with vitality? Does it make you feel like, you know, like you're good, like you're hydrated, like you the man? Like, um, a perfect example that I will bring up to this. Um, anybody who's watched the Looney Tunes movie, the, the Space Jam one, will see how Bugs Bunny saw how the entire team was like all down and out and they weren't feeling it and he just filled up a water bottle <laughs> he just filled up a water bottle 
And then he wrote something slick on it and he stuck it on there and he was like, the secret stuff. And everybody was like, what is that? And it was like, hey, y'all, this is the secret stuff. This is this is this is what MJ uses, you know, to be able to dunk the way that he dunks. Like this is this is how he gets his game on. And everybody's like, yo, let me get some of that. Let me get some of that. And everybody's like all motivated and excited and they get all brolic and whatnot. And they're all strong. You know, they're motivated. Like something in it that we don't see changed it. And it's the hypnosis behind it. He was able to trick everybody into thinking that they were drinking some miracle juice. How often times on a day-to-day basis do we do things that are mundane that kind of dismotivates us or that kind of like eh that we lose the opportunity to look at it as something more when you take out the trash or you do the chore of taking out the trash think about it as literally taking out the trash all the emotional luggage all the stress all the struggles from the week all the poverty all the all the ugliness you are taking the trash out poverty no longer exists in this household struggle no longer exists in this household the garbage has been put out thank you garbage man for your service and taking all my troubles away be gone when you take a shower something as simple as a shower let me just do this this this, and that and whatnot you can look at it as like rejuvenating yourself as as really like making yourself brand new how does your car look when you drive it to the car wash? You take a car that looks all old and dusty and it looks brand new and you're like, oh, look at it stunning on there. You're doing the same thing for yourself. The same way as you cleanse your physical body, you're cleansing your spirit. And you feel better about it. You feel motivated about it. You feel feeling like a million bucks. Every time you end up putting money inside of your wallet, how do you put the money in your wallet? If you end up putting cash inside your wallet, how do you put it there? Do you just put it like whatever? Or do you keep it nice and pressed and clean? It's like, oh, let me keep this stuff organized. You know what I mean? Like, oh, wait a minute. Homeboy is upside down. Let me put it. Okay, right side up. There he goes. Wait a minute. He's facing me. Money's coming my way. The way you perceive things on a day-to-day basis turns props into a way of bringing forth what you want for yourself into a new way of thinking picture it as a form of affirmation meditation picture it as you will of just simply changing your mindset to see beauty in every moment to seize the opportunity in every moment so i don't know maybe there's this one shirt that you look at and you're like you know this is my favorite shirt why is it my favorite shirt maybe it's my lucky shirt Maybe when I end up wearing this shirt on, I feel good. You know, maybe when I get this shirt on, I get paid. I get money. I have good opportunities. I get free food. I mean, nobody's going to complain about free food. You know what I mean? Something to that extent, the things we use on a day-to-day basis could be the lucky charms that we end up using to make the world that we want to see. And the more that we use our imagination in stuff like this and using day-to-day, um, day-to-day objects as our props to make the life that we want to live, the more we see things unfold in a different light. I do this all the time. Every single time I'm rolling in my, my SUV, my little Honda or whatnot, to everybody else, it's it's an old CRV. To me, that's my Land Rover. I'm over here. I'm cruising. I'm whipping it sideways. I'm doing my thing. You can't tell me nothing. I'm living my life. And yeah, there are going to be some people who are going to look at you and it's like, that's silly. That's pointless. What are you doing? But keep in mind, these are the same kind of people that tell little kids, you got to get real. You got to... You got to lose that imagination stuff. And if anything to take from this video or even from this series or anything that I'm saying is this world belongs to the dreamers. The more you dream, the more you use that imagination, you'd be surprised at the things that you can accomplish. 
There's no such thing as impossible in this world. There's no such thing that is exclusive only to one person or the other. You can do it. All right? I've had many times where people have told me, get real. You know what I mean? There's no point in 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 being unrealistic about these kind of things. And I'm like, well, what real is what's realistic to you? And four out of the five times, if you have a conversation with these people, you'll notice that some of them might not be happy with their lives. They'll be like, oh, life is about you gotta you gotta grind, you know what I mean? And then you you're grinding for minimum pay and you gotta work and blah 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 and this, this and that. They don't even like going to their jobs four out of the five times and then they're over here like you know, we do this for like 40, 40 years and then, you know, we die. You know what I mean? Just paying bills. And I'm like, I'd rather use my imagination and actually enjoy the time that I have here. And a lot of the people that actually end up doing that, you'll see them accomplish things that are incredible in life. Think about it. Video games. How were they invented? At some point, somebody had to have been like, you know what, this reality, the way that people are painting it with the whole entire realistic aspect, let me let me toss some imagination in there. What would it be like to like blast off space invaders? And then you have like Atari systems that came out. You know what I mean? It, when a person makes a book about all these fantasies, how do you think Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, um, um, all these different wow and fantastic books come to be it's because people dive into their imagination and they create the world that they want to see and if they're interested in seeing a world like that there's other people who are always interested too i might have drove a little bit off topic here but the whole ultimate point that i'm trying to say is there's opportunity in the things that we use on a day-to-day -day basis to make us feel good if the thing that ends up making you feel good is, uh, like I said, the things that you consume on a day-to-day -day basis, like your morning coffee. If it's the things that you end up doing, like uh, just being on the road, driving. Or even if it is a chore that you don't like, do it. Flip it. Turn into something you do like doing. You know what I mean? If it's something that's got to get done, look at it through a new pair of lens. I got to mow the lawn. You know, it sucks being out mowing the lawn. Look at it as like you're trimming up and you're, 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 you're cleaning and you're organizing your life. You know what I mean? Imagine that as you're passing that thing by, you know, like you, you mowing the lawn to like your mansion or something. I don't know. The world is as big as and as small as you want to make it. And that's my point what I'm trying to put on this. Using props helps make you, helps let me organize this. Using props helps you make the world as big as you want it to be. And using it to its fullest potential, you'd be surprised at not only how things change for you, but how you on the inside change at how you see things, how you enjoy things, and how the day to day might be a little bit better than you thought. Anyways, that's all I got time for today. I'm hoping you guys end up enjoying the video. I'm hoping you guys can make use out of what I'm saying. I'm hoping it's simple enough um, to put in good practice. Um, if you would like it, like I said, like, subscribe, share, um, or don't. Comment on it if you want. Nothing's obligated here. Um, and uh, like always, with all the love in the world, until next time, peace.